Live from Fayetteville, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. You are looking at the SEC Freshman of the Week. Joe Adams had seven catches for 89 yards Saturday and now has been rewarded for it. But despite Adams' production, the Hogs had another scare, this time against Louisiana Monroe. And with Texas next up, Bobby Petrino knows there's a ton more at stake on Saturday. Yeah, you, you found out in a hurry that um, not a lot of people in Arkansas like Texas. Uh, you know, it didn't take very long to, to understand that. The play against ranked teams is exciting. We're not ranked right now. And uh, you want to go against somebody who's ranked. You want to come up in the polls. And so um, the only thing that's in the back of my mind is if we go down here and we do what we have to do, then that could help our team. It could help this program. Being an underdog. It, it's not always bad because, you know, sometimes teams underestimate you and before you know it, you've gone up and hit them in the mouth in the first quarter and then um, they may be behind, but we, we don't know. We know that we're going to go in there with, um, ready for a fight. Certainly when you look at the schedule we got coming up in front of us, there's reason for concern. Hopefully not too much concern. Former Heisman Trophy winner Gino Toretta, well, he'll be the color analyst on the radio for the Texas game. Toretta was the guest speaker today at the Little Rock Touchdown Club and says Saturday should be an interesting matchup. Well, there's a lot of incentive for Arkansas to kind of see how they measure up against one of the top ten programs. And, you know, I think you look at, you know, Texas has the depth, probably have better players right now, but uh, you know that's that's not where that's where Arkansas wants to be. So I think when you when you try to measure up against the top programs, you're going to see the best that, that Arkansas has. The Hogs in Austin Saturday kickoff is set for 2:30. The Razorback Nation will have reports from the Lone Star State beginning on Thursday, and the Razorbacks will be on TV for a second week in a row. The Alabama game next Saturday has now been moved to an 11:30 a.m. kickoff on Raycom TV. Aaron Nolan now has more from Central Arkansas. Aaron. Hey, and welcome to the Fearless Friday Underground set. It's a special show devoted to the web. It's all about high school football in the natural state. Laney Beavers will be with me every week. Laney, first off, talk about week one. A lot of parody. Anybody can beat anybody. That's the impression I got. Yeah, and we saw that after the monsoons we hit early in the year, early in the week, excuse me. I thought the fields were a lot better Friday, and we, and we saw a lot of that. The one interesting thing is didn't see as much passing that you would think you would see, like at Woodlake Hampton play Texarkana. The hell and the West Hell in the game I saw, their field was in great shape. A lot of parity. I think the 5A, though, is 5A, if, if you guys are out there and want to see some good football, go out to the 5A. You're going to see a lot of good football right there. Speaking of 5A, our feature game this week is going to be PA traveling to Mustang Mountain, taking on CAC. You like it? Definitely like that one. Plasky Academy did get beat by West Helena. They're going to bounce back and looking forward to all the comments on Fearless Friday as they talk about it. But uh, I'm curious to see what you, who you're going to pick for that game, Aaron, because I already know who I'm going to pick. Well, I think we're going to talk about that tonight at 10. Don't jump to conclusions. For more on PACAC, our feature game of the week, it's going to be tonight at 10. If you want to see this special show called Fearless Friday Underground, go to our website, ArkansasMatters.com, and click on the Fearless Friday link. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. All right, thanks, Aaron. Hey, Sincere, something else you need to pay attention mm -hmm. to tonight as well. 9-15, Darren McFadden making oh, his yeah. debut in the NFL. It's going to be against another former hog, Peyton Hillis, making his debut as well. That's at, on ESPN tonight at 9-15. We'll have some highlights at 10 o'clock. Can't wait. I'm from Oakland, so I'm getting the best of both worlds here. <laughs> <There> <laughs> All right, go. Pat, thank you. Well,